Good morning, Air Signs. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tour over here today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? Alright, so Air Signs is going to be your daily reading. Not all messages will, will resonate, but take a resonate and leave the rest behind. For that being said, if you do find that you are resonating with any of these messages, you're welcome to hit that like button or hit that subscribe button to let me know that you are resonating and enjoying my content and that you want to see more. Alright, so today we're going to start off with Gemini. There will be timestamps down below if you just want to skip to your zodiac sign. Either way, Gemini, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, Gemini. Let's see what you got. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, Gemini, at the bottom of the deck, you have the High Priestess. The King of Swords and the Tower card. So, Gemini, you may be dealing with a relationship today or a situation where everything feels like it's falling apart. Um, you could also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Libra, but either way, this is someone that, with the King of Swords being here, that tells me that this is someone that is really standing up in their power and they're they're standing up for themselves and they're standing up for everything that they believe in all right they know when to take action when it comes to communicating and they are very sharp with their words like they are willing to cut this connect connection off if it is too much of a burden for them and right now you're listening to your intuition and changes are happening around you because everything feels like it's falling apart because you're going through this tower moment today. All right? You do have the page of pentacles, so it does seem like when it comes to either the work sector or, you know, the relationship, something isn't working out. You're not wanting to put any more effort into this connection and it was a 10 of pentacles. So someone didn't want to put effort into it or something happened where this really good connection fell apart out of nowhere right so e either it was on your part and you were just like you know what i'm tired of this ten of pentacles let me explore my options right now this could also mean that you are getting fired from your work situation and you try asking for your job back and you just they won't allow you back and even though you are very stable so you are secure you're able to you know go without this job you still need some sort of job happening for you and or job in order to you know supply some money for you guys um, but yeah something is happening today and it feels like your world is about to come crashing down like you don't know what to do or what not to do but you know that someone is being very harsh in this situation whether that's you or being or the boss you know being mean because you aren't putting in the work that you should be putting in um but either way like i said it does seem like you're going to be good you're going to be okay uh, you have the ten of pentacles here which tells me that you are very stable very secure very very balanced when it comes to financial uh, situations um, but you you lost your way of making income but like I said this could also be love as well um, you could also for some of you you could be getting rejected by someone um, if you're not in a relationship and it's just going to break your heart and it's gonna feel like the world is just crashing down like you you don't know what else to do because you you you've had a crush on this person since like the third grade and you guys are like um i don't know <laughs> like 20 years old whatever it may be um either way and you're you're you ask this person out and they reject you and you're just like in shock you, you don't know what to do like you're stunned you're and you're just feeling this pain and you're dealing with it and you're you're sturdy when it comes to your finances but it's just it's unbelievable that they rejected you because you thought that this person would have actually had like a really good connection with you and was 
actually going to be beneficial for you and then they ended up just rejecting you like that and it's going to be really hard for you today so really try to really balance out your emotions so that way you can stay focused and do what is best for you i do see things you know really coming towards you in a very quick manner so if you couldn't find a job yesterday or today you may find a job tomorrow or next week but either way um cool 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 now this could also be that you know someone is going to approach you next week or tomorrow and you know offer you a cup of love and you may accept it because the last person didn't accept your cup and yeah you know and you know they seem exactly like this other person that you were talking to but they're better because they accepted you for who you are right so that was gemini's reading did i say pisces in that reading i'm sorry if i did i'm getting like a pisces vibe in that reading so you could be dealing with a pisces but either way let's move on to libra 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 what do we got for libra what do we got for libra Libra, Libra, Libra. What do we got for Libra? What do we got for Libra today? What's going on for Libra today? Huh? Alright, Libra. Here we go. Cool. So, Libra, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Cups, you have the Seven of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. So, you have an interest in moving forward, but something's holding you back from moving forward today. Because you're, you're thinking about the past and what happened in the past, and you're not wanting things to turn out the same way that happened in the past. And this could be that you're reflecting upon the past and really thinking about it because... Uh, things didn't really go that well or maybe you're just still trying to hold on to that person that is no longer in your life all right but either way i see you feeling very sad and not really wanting to approach anyone but you are interested in someone new or some type of situation right it, this could be work this could be finances whatever it may be i see you being very satisfied by the end of the day but you're also not wanting to work very hard but you're also planning that so you're planning on how to take action towards this person and you're very satisfied with the plan that you came up with but you're also not wanting to work too hard to gain this connection or to gain their trust or maybe you're just not wanting to put much effort into this connection um but you are interested in it and you are satisfied with your approach on wanting to go towards this person or maybe they are just very satisfying uh to be around and you know that's why you want to approach them but either way libra um you could have some baggage that you are dealing with so you may need to really heal your uh yourself and really work on yourself before you start approaching your approaching anyone that um you want to be romantically involved with all right so let's see what we got for what do we got for Aquarius what do we got for Aquarius 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 what do we got for Aquarius today what do we got for Aquarius today Aquarius 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 what do we got for Aquarius today Aquarius 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 Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Alright, so Aquarius, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Cool. So Aquarius, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Swords, you also have the Two of Cups, and you also have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So that tells me that you're walking away from a situation and you're not really wanting to see the big picture of everything that's happening around you 
does seem like you're needing to make a decision to either walk away or to continue forward with this person but it does seem like this person is a bit of a karmic or isn't right for you because the two of cups is in reverse and when the two of cups is in reverse that tells me that this person could be a karmic or just the connection is just not there anymore and you're needing to walk away and do what is best for you but like i said you're having a hard time choosing between these two options because you don't want to walk away because you still care about this person but at the same time you know that the connection's no not good for you and that you're needing to walk away all right it does seem like you're trying to manifest new things into your life but you're just not wanting to be in a relationship anymore uh, because there was some juggling that happened in the past you know if this person was a player or a bit of a player and didn't really make time for you then you're just not wanting to be in a relationship with them and you're trying to manifest new things into your life today possibly getting into a new relationship or trying to manifest a new relationship into your life that is going to be more beneficial for you not just jump into a relationship um, because you do have the four of wands in reverse so that tells me that you're kind of closed off from relationships right now and you're not really wanting to be in one um but uh yeah so today is going to be all about creating new ideas maybe you want to write down what you desire and you know watch it you know come to light and really focus on that aspect of it rather than dealing with this player energy that you keep you know finding yourself uh, keep that you keep finding yourself in these situations and you're tired of dealing with it so you just you're trying to manifest a way out of the situation so you're trying to find a solution so that way you can move forward in the best way possible instead of dealing with this person or this person in like sheep's clothing like a wolf in sheep's clothing all right so Aquarius, that's going to be your reading for today. I hope you guys resonate and enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help grow my channel, and I really do appreciate it. Namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the links will be down in the description box below. If you want to check out any of the other videos on my channel, you can hit that channel button and take to a whole bunch of videos on my channel. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.